Now, wind has played a big part in the system. Dr. David Call has been with us, our severe weather expert, all morning, joined by Chuck Lofton as well. And Dr. Call, we're really seeing the wind shift, and that's giving us an idea that something is going to be happening. And you can see that right here, those wind gusts up to 40 miles an hour. That's right. Now the, the center of circulation is starting to move out of Tennessee into Kentucky. And what we're noticing is the strongest winds now are down in the southeastern parts of the viewing area. Now as we go through the afternoon, that storm shifts further north. The strongest winds will continue to be mostly east of, say, US 31, but places like Muncie, Richmond, Shelbyville. That's where we're going to see the really strong wind gusts as we go through the afternoon. And especially if you're traveling I-70, that's going to be a huge problem with east-west roads getting that northerly breeze. You're exactly right. And in fact, we can see this on here. The winds in western Indiana have now started to shift from due north to due south. Near State 70 goes directly more or less west to east as these winds turn to more northerly, say around 3, 4, 5 o'clock this afternoon. That's really going to become treacherous as well. We're also seeing treacherous conditions, something we've been talking about all day, the problems with visibility. And you said that you haven't seen this in a long time, if ever in central Indiana, when the visibilities are just this low. Yeah, I mean, earlier this map, every place was a half inch or, or half mile or less visibility. We're still seeing that, though, again, especially eastern parts. So as we go through the afternoon, this is where the worst visibilities are. Bloomington is finally now out of blizzard conditions. Their visibility is back up to a mile. Indianapolis has crept out of it. Terre Haute should be soon enough. But again, Kokomo, Muncie, Shelbyville, Richmond, Columbus, you folks have a few more hours of very limited visibilities and probably strengthening winds. We do, and that's why we're going to continue to watch this for you because the visibility will become a bigger part of the story. Even though we're going to continue mm -hmm. to see those snowfall rates of about an inch to an inch and a half per hour. We're going to keep you updated, of course, keep checking the radar. We're getting those snowfall totals for you. And Chuck Lofton is going to be joining us in just a bit with more information as well. Thanks so much. And Scott and Anne Marie, back to you. All right, Nicole.